Hey guys, um, I want to start um, and by <laughs> talking briefly on the underrated, brilliant craft of Michael Bay, because you get these kind of artistic geniuses, you tell stories through metaphors with character driven films that take viewers on these introspective voyages, blah, 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 blah. But putting films together like Ambulance or The Transformers has a tech requires technical mind that you need to visualize what you want and put it into practice, which I think is a huge, huge thing. And it's an insane talent. What was it like working with him on this and seeing him in his element? To me, that was the most fascinating part of this whole process as well. I think yeah. watching someone who is what I would consider an auteur, you know, and in his genre was incredible to have an agility that he has to be able to know and see his movie in his mind, mm -hmm. to see the, into the result of it. Um, that's what I enjoyed the most was helping him in the ways that I could as I could see what he was doing, you know, I could understand why he didn't need this or he didn't need that, or he wanted us to do this this way, you know? Mm -hmm. And I just love watching him know and search. I, I don't know, for as chaotic as it can be on a Michael Bay set, it always has this strange order. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's for sure. Always, for sure. Um, he's a real leader in that sense. Mm -hmm. And I felt comforted even in the chaos. And he, he works by, um, you know, he has a plan, works by inspiration. But what's impressive is that, you know, he has a plan and then he's inspired by something and he immediately knows how it's going to plug in. You know, he's like, oh, OK, no, I'm take that out, put this there and, and, and everything will work and everything will be seamless. It's, it's interesting to see to see how um, to see how his mind works and how that materializes on the day in a lot of ways. People talk about, you know, Marvel movies and how they're made and how a new every good idea wins. And, and, and he, you know, he's not the first to come up with, you know, this idea, but in the size of a movie like this, to have the confidence to say, I'm going to follow the more interesting idea, not just a thing that's been planned, you know, I, and I know how to do it without like sucking all the money out of the budget, you know, is people, it is not something you should take for granted. It's mm -hmm. like a profound skill. Yeah. Yeah, I think most of the money on the budget, this one probably went to just closing all the streets that he needed to close off. You guys I think just on. crashing, buying cars and crashing cars. That seems <laughs> yeah. To yeah. yeah, and yeah, yeah. Did, I mean, did he, did at any point Michael let you drive or was it always stunt, man? <laughs> no, 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 no. I was, no, I, I did a great deal of driving on this. Oh, wow. Okay. I, mean, I, I did, I had a crash course in, you know, an ambulance driving, you know, on, on the first day, swerving around the orange cones and trying to, trying to drift the ambulance. Uh, I tried, you know, I tried as much as I could to to drift on the day, you know, with Jake in the car and, you know, and the team in the back. Uh, yeah, I definitely, I definitely got to do my share of driving on, you know, on this one. Yeah, it's, it's quite a challenging film to shoot because I mean, I know Jake, you did a film obviously quite recently, The Guilty, which requires a similar discipline, which is to constantly get yourself into the frame of mind of a character within a really short time span. So usually I imagine different locations, different outfits, different time periods, help place an actor kind of in a moment and let them understand where they need to be like emotionally at any given time. But is that harder to do with a sort of real time thriller of this nature? No, I think that's the skill of a professional actor is, you know, nothing is in order. <clears throat> making movies is a very technical process. So you have to be able to like hold your creativity for the very technical thing that you have to do. And oftentimes it's very much out of order. I find that to be the best part of it. You know, it's a puzzle. If you mm -hmm. like puzzles mm -hmm. and you like to add to that puzzle, it's great fun. And it also is just letting go because I don't know how you feel, but I don't believe in continuity. Like, you know, I believe in emotional continuity and, mm -hmm. you know, there's a reason you're shooting a scene on this day for this reason. And you give it to that scene and then, you know, you shoot another one. There's no, but it is just a, a, a skill and a craft, you know? Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, so I, I love I, I love the character Will in this. I thought I could really relate to him. Danny, that guy is completely unhinged. How is it like playing? Yeah, yeah, well? yeah that's I think that's what every I think that's what every Danny says. Is yeah. <laughs> I could really relate to Will, but yeah. I just, uh, <laughs> but I, I mean, by the way, feel exactly the same as you, which is yeah. well, <laughs> my question's gonna make me sound like even more of a Danny because I was gonna say we have all these aspects of our personality that can be a little eccentric. I mean, that we kind of keep at bay because society dictates that we should, but can it be quite yeah. cathartic? releasing that side to to you through the prism of a character like Danny um I you know uh but Danny has a big need you know like Danny 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 like the size of 
Danny's expression is the size of his of his need, you know, it, it, whether that's the need to be seen or heard or the the need to like uh, and not to answer the question for you. But this is a lot of what I see, like if he's if he's uncomfortable, the degree of his discomfort is going to manifest or, or, or of his dis discomfort is going to manifest in, in, you know, the backlash or, you know, his his desire to to get his brother home, you know, to get his brother home and safe and to, you know, to, to, to come through on, on his promise, you know, he gave his word that he was going to get his brother home and that everything was going to work out. And, and the stakes are high. If his, you know, if he doesn't come through on his promise, I imagine that that probably drives a character like Danny crazy, uh, not to put that word on, but, uh, but, mm -hmm. but, that, but that, but that, but that, that bugs him, you know, because of the connection to his brother. I mean, I really love the, you know, the, the, the work that Jake did with that character. But also it's just fun. You're in a Michael Bay movie and like, you know, you're big and it can hold yeah. a lot of big, big um, primary colors, you know? And so that, that was always fun to play around. There's a lot of improvisation when we were doing stuff. So I was just doing, I was just saying crazy stuff and, you know, it was all over the map, but I, I think in the end, I actually really relate to Will more mm -hmm. than I do to Danny. And maybe that's why I was interested in playing Danny. Yeah. Um, and uh, I also think Danny's an engine, you know, sure, Danny's sure. kind of the engine, you know, you need an engine to that ambulance, mm -hmm. you need an engine to that and pushing it forward. Mm -hmm. And it requires a very, very big engine to stay away from all those things chasing mm -hmm. us, um, a wild one. Mm -hmm. And that's definitely what Danny is. Yeah. Well, two great characters and two great performances. Thank you so much for your time today, guys. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks so much. much. Cheers. Bye-bye. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys!